This tutorial for DemiBooks Composer Pro will cover audio. Audio files can be used for narration, sound effects, and even background music. There are specific behaviors you can use to control when your audio starts and stops and what the volume will be. To access the audio options, touch the effects icon in the top right corner of the workbench area. Then touch the audio option. You will see a list of all the audio files that have already been loaded into your book app. You can add a new audio file by scrolling to the bottom of the list and touching the Add Audio option. You can also add a new audio file by touching the plus icon in the top right corner of the audio menu. For this demo, we will load an audio file from iTunes. Since our audio file starts with the prefix SFX, we will touch the S entry on the index on the right side of the iTunes menu. Now we will load the SFX Fanfare audio file into our book app by touching that entry. If a version of the audio file already exists in your book app, you will see a pop-up that asks if you wish to overwrite it. This is useful if you've made a change to the audio file and want to upload a new version. Now you will see the options for an audio file. To rename your audio file, touch the Name option. The Track option lets you select a different audio file. There are a total of 16 channels available for any audio file. If you wish to have more than one audio file playing at the same time, make sure they are in different channels. Any audio file that has the same channel as another one will cut off that audio file when it is told to play by a behavior. An audio file can be one of three types. Assigning a type to an audio file lets you control many audio files at once using such behaviors as mute and unmute. For example, you can mute all of the music audio files with one behavior. Because this is a new audio file, there are no behaviors associated with it. To save these options with your audio file, touch the Save button in the top right corner of the menu. When you touch an entry in the audio list, that audio file will play and display the options related to that file. This is also where you can delete an audio file if it is no longer necessary. To return to the audio list, touch the Cancel button in the top left corner of the Edit Audio menu. More details about how to use DemiBooks Composer Pro are available in the User Guide and in other video tutorials.